Hello everyone, welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for showing up this time. If you are new here, please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you are old here, thanks so much for coming again. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to design a channel art using Photoshop. And this specifically goes to the beauty and fashion and lifestyle channels. So let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to create a new project. So we go to file and then new. And then the sizes that I'm going to use are 1920 and 1080. And the resolution is 300. You can increase it if you want. So you click OK. And then you should have something like this in Photoshop. Alright, so first thing first, I will select my um, paint bucket tool over here. And then this is the color that I'm using. Um, FF007E, right? So you click OK. And then you left click on this whole project. And then you should have the color on it. So the paint bucket tool will do that for you. Alright, so you see that this whole thing cannot fit to the YouTube channel, especially on the mobile view. It can't fit. So we have to create a very unique one for it. And then we are going to make use of the rectangle tool. So you pick the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle in the middle of this one. Of course, if you if you watch um, the previous video that I did about um, creating a YouTube channel, you should know this. All right, so you change the color from here, and then you click OK. Now let me go ahead and select all of this one by pressing Ctrl A, and then I'll click on this to align it in the middle. So it has to be in the middle. Of course, you can increase the size. You press Ctrl T and you can adjust it. You can increase it all anyhow you want it, right? So let me go back. All right, so we have this. And then this particular rectangle that we have in the middle is all that we are going to do the design on. So I want it to affect this particular rectangle only. So I'll go ahead and select this one right click and then i'll convert it to smart object so when i have the smart object i have something here and then i'll double click on it so it has to open another page for me and um, basically what this page means is that anything that you do on this thing and you save on this project and you save will affect this particular rectangle over here that is what basically the smart object means so we are going to do the design over here all right so first thing i'm going to open the image that i'm going to use and this is a picture of an actress in ghana her name is jackie apia and i'm borrowing her picture all right so i'll select the crop tool and then i'll crop out the image um, so in place of jackie apia you can um, replace it with your picture and then I'll send it to the rectangle. So I'll bring it here. And you see it's very huge over here. So I'll just go ahead and press Ctrl T to resize it. I want it to fill at least this place for me. Let me leave some space in case um, it affects this area. Let me leave some space over here. Right. Okay, so I have this over here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is just add a test to it so this is a very simple channel art so i'll select the test tool and then i'll left click on it and this is the font that i'm using uh, messenger pigeons don't worry i'll add it in the description don't worry All right, so you just go ahead and press Ctrl T to resize it to any size that it wants, and then you can position it somewhere around this place. So to make sure it's in the middle, you just take the first step that we took, and then we position it in the middle. But let me take this up small, and then you can increase it a little bit more. So I think this is okay. So that you know, it's almost filling the whole of. Uh, the rectangle 
So the next thing that we have to do is we have to add what you are doing on your channel to it. So I'll select the Eclipse to then let me zoom in and then create a small Eclipse over here, right? And then I'm going to change the color to black. I'll go ahead and select the text tool. Um, I'll change. Uh, I already have this to Acrobat, and then um, this thing is bold. The fonts, the font size is 10.78, and then the color is black. So I'll just start to type. So first thing I'll type um, beauty. Beauty. Good. So I'll decrease it small. I'll transform it small. And then I'll make sure that it is in line. So you just have to take your time to do that. All right. So after that, select the beauty and then hold control and select the eclipse. And then you press control J to make a duplicate. And then you bring it to the other side. So I'll just have to edit this to fashion and then I'll click OK and I'll do the same thing I'll duplicate the two and then I'll take it to the other side and then I'll edit that one to, to lifestyle All right so when I have this here I'll just select the whole of this um, groupings and then I'll group it to one so if I turn it off see that um, the fashion beauty and lifestyle has been turned off so it, that one you can just um, increase it or decrease it straightforward all right so we have something very nice here let's go ahead and add some symbol to it so i'll go to file again and then i'll open this particular um I don't know how it's called, but you just have to open it. And then you double click on this one to remove the background. So I'll use the magic eraser tool. I'll just left click, left click here, and then left click again. So you remove all the backgrounds, and then you send it to um, the rectangle. So I'll place it over here. And then I'll decrease it small like this, right? And then I'll position it somewhere around this place. So it's just a symbol to indicate that it's fashion and beauty channel, right? So um, let me bring it to this side, sorry, uh, around this place, right? And then lastly, I'll add um, a subscription button to it. So I'll select the rounded rectangle. And then I'll go ahead and draw a rounded, sorry. I'll draw a rounded rectangle over here. And then it automatically picks the color that we are using. So no need to change the color. Now let me add a test to it. I'll change the color to white. And then I'll use this time around the bold, uh, extra bold, and then I'll type subscribe. All right, so when you are done, you can just bring it inside this one. Press Ctrl T, and then you can increase it out. So, boom, we are just done with a very simple beauty and fashion, but let's add a little thing to it, right? So, let me go to shapes. Um, and then costume shapes and then I'll select this particular hat over here and then I'll draw a hat and then I'm going to um, zoom in decrease it small and then rotate it and then I'll place it here so you can just rotate it small and then you just bring it here so you have something very nice here. Let me add another one to it, if you don't mind. So we just add a shape here, and then it will be just nice. Just place it anywhere you want to place it, right? Okay, so I think at this point we are done with the 
tutorial but before then you just have to press ctrl s to save just like i told you so it has to reflect over here so when you save it we have this one here you can just get rid of it and then you have your youtube um, channel art ready so basically that's how to create a very simple this is the simplest i think in my opinion this is the simplest channel art you can create for yourself as a beauty and fashion or lifestyle channel all right so thanks so much for watching this video uh, please make sure you hit on the subscribe button don't mind the noise at the background my roommate is just disturbing me all right so thanks so much once again for watching i'll catch you in the next video bye